Global Rescue provides medical and security crisis response services to individuals, families, corporations, and governments. Global Rescue integrates seamlessly into the EAPs of corporations as they're called emergency action plans so that when something does happen, there is an organized and coordinated response that the corporation can rely upon. Global Rescue was created in partnership with Johns Hopkins Medicine to provide best-in-class consultative services and the ability to actually deploy personnel to the site of the crisis anywhere in the world. Having the ability to know what kind of medical service I was getting, which is the Johns Hopkins piece of Global Rescue, was very valuable. I think any parent who has a kid who is traveling abroad has to have some sort of insurance and I think Global Rescue is the way to go. There's a good feeling in traveling in foreign countries or away from home and knowing that there's a company there that will get you out of trouble. When an emergency happens and a call comes in to one of Global Rescue's redundant operation centers, there are individuals that actually have the ability to provide you with potentially life-saving advice on that first phone call. If you think it can't happen, you're wrong. And if it does happen, you want them to be there for you. Global Rescue has assets around the world. These include more than 200 medical centers of excellence, thousands of aircraft that we have under contract, thousands of people that Global Rescue can mobilize. And so if you're bedside and you are trained to Western standards, we have those individuals managing the care of these patients that give them the best likelihood of getting a favorable outcome. Water that rose as high as 30 feet. Anger is at boiling point in Egypt. Global Rescue has been involved in most of the major global crises of the last decade. We were in Lebanon, for instance, in 2006. We were in Mumbai in 2008. We were in Haiti in 2010. Our personnel have been coordinating logistics, uh, scheduling flights, uh, and providing support to our personnel who are on, in the field, actually down in Haiti. Uh, there are 52,000 Americans that are currently registered uh, with the U.S. Embassy in Egypt. Uh, there's a significant percentage of those that I believe want out of the country. We provide information to people so that they can make informed decisions about their own security. I had composed an email to Global Rescue following the directions on the back of my card. As soon as I saw the wireless sign go on my computer, I quickly sent the email and Global Rescue took over from there. It's a wonderful thing to be able to provide a service that helps people. We help people who are in some of the most difficult circumstances of their lives, and in some cases, fighting for their lives. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a helicopter evac from 17,500 feet. My confidence in them is 110%. I'd do it again, because I know what they can accomplish. We will not stop until the care that's needed is provided, and the people that need to come home have been brought home.